Welcome back to Apollo Justice. Last time we beat case three and this time we're gonna start case four and see what that's all about. So let's just jump into it. Turn it back to success and here we go. And that is the whole truth of this case. The Mason system. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Still alive. Oh, he's not. He's not alive anymore, sorry. In order to understand it myself, I had to know the story of these last seven long years. Cards. More cards. Yeah, that was the first case. Nothing happens by chance. All is connected. Oh. More guns. Blam blam. Oh, that's not good. That, that's not good at all. You're not supposed to get shot in a magic show. And now, you stand ready to begin the final chapter of this story. Oh, that, that doesn't look good. Not at all. Nope. Will the defendant be found guilty or innocent? The decision is yours. Hey, I recognize this man. Hmm. Well then. October 7th, 1037 AM, write anything agency. Hey Apollo, look on TV, look, look. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of busy. Whoa, look at that! He's Alaska Marte, alright? Amazing! Apollo, you should be watching this! Ow, ow, what, what? I was writing about our last case in my journal. Am I just supposed to write in, in thing, thing, supposed to write things in records, Apollo, not journals? And why now? That case was three months ago. Hey, it's a long story. I did a lot, you know? I want to vacuum pack the field a moment for later. Right now I'm wowing the crowd by figuring how the more just appeared. That's right, Uncle Flint did that illusion too. But you're missing him on TV right now. Uh, I'm just getting to the good part. I suppose I should watch a little TV with her. After all, her father's expecting me to look after her while he's away. Which is all of the time. What you're now seeing is a rehearsal for the greatest mag magic show on Earth. Happening right here at our own... Sunshine Coliseum. Sunshine Coliseum. Hey, that's where the Gavineers concert was. Only three more days until the miracles happen here, right before your unbelieving eyes. The legendary Troop Gomarte was performing for the first time in seven years. That's gonna be great! I'm so there. You and Daddy are coming too. Legendary Gomarte is. I choose his real father was still alive. He'd be on the stage touring miracles. I got the tickets and everything. Here's yours, Apollo. Magic show ticket. Cool. Oh. Ah, you are here. Thinking, working hard or hardly working. Hello, Phoenix. How you doing? Hey, how have you been? Hi there, stranger. Not exactly the kind of greeting I want to hear from my own kid. Although he has been gone a long time. <laughs> how good is it, Juicy? Here, I got a present for you. Yay! Pudding! I love pudding. Oh, it's farm fresh. Not just one pudding. You can get a whole three cups. I love the whole... I'll have to pace myself. Well, I'm beat. That's right, Daddy. You're on a top secret mission. You gotta take it easy with the secrets, you know. <laughs> All right, you are. So you still can't tell us what your mission is. Uh, maybe this time. Something has something to do with you, anyway. Ah, uh, with me? Oh, maybe you're getting a top secret mission too. Maybe you can be one of those guys. A spy. <laughs> can I just be an defense attorney? <laughs> To be honest, telling you about the mission was my whole reason for coming here today. What? Tell me. You've heard of the Juris system, yes? The Juris system? That's right. The new legal system everyone's talking about. Have you heard of it, Paolo? Huh? Uh, maybe? I mean, as many people are talking about it as I thought. The Juris system, huh? 
I'm intrigued, Phoenix. Tell me. What what do you what? So daddy, what's this jurist 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 system thing? Uh well, Juicy, do you know what a jury is? I've heard of it. Isn't that those people who sit in court in those old courtroom dramas? The ones you get to decide if a guy's innocent or guilty? You know do you know Apollo? Only from TV. It's twelve people chosen from the community, right? Well, they're thinking about reviving that system. They're calling the new system the Jura system. No more doing whatever you like, Your Honor. Not quite that harsh. The jurist got away with the judge. I hope I analyze the case from different angles. Ah, there will be six of them under the current proposal, right? Well, you know your stuff, Apollo. The new running is directly effective, right? Hopefully, people will start taking courts a little more serious now. I feel like I'm on some kind of educational TV show. Starring Dr. Ray. <laughs> Dr. Ray with his sister Juicy. And Mascot Apollo, the perfect team. Mascot, hey! So, what's your secret mission? So, what is the secret mission? Are you James Bond or something? But a, 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 a lawyer? Something like that? The jury system is a mission, more or less. Anyway, keep in mind new ideas like this system are always risky, Apollo. Too true. Everyone's got an opinion and they just talk and talk and nothing gets decided. Kinda like you, Apollo. Uh, I'm not that bad, am I? In any case, we're gonna give it a shot. A test, if you will. I don't like tests. I'll take a case as a sample and choose six jurors. I'll be the one helping with that with the process, incidentally. Helping how? Well, for one, I'll be chair of the jury system simulated court committee. The chair constructs the ideal situation, choosing the case, the jurist candidates, even the judge in the court. Wow, it's like you have a real job! <laughs> Ooh, that's a deep cut, Juicy. I was never that good at piano, to be honest. What's a lawyer? Always a lawyer, I guess. The trial's tomorrow, by the way. Don't miss it. The trial and simulation, it is. A simulation, huh? Sounds interesting. So, what kind of case is the trial simulation about? Well, since it is the first run through of a new system, I wanted something simple. Good thinking. No sense in wearing yourself out on something too serious. True. The case is a murder. That's not simple at all. By simple, do you mean that the defendant is... Guilty, yes. Most likely. So good luck, Apollo. Um, with what? With the trial tomorrow. You're defending, of course. I call that I said it had something to do with you. Go for it, Apollo. It's just a test case anyway. No sweat. Yeah, but there's still a verdict to be decided. An potentially serious sentence. Most serious in a worst case scenario. Ah, you mean the verdict's for real? That's not a test trial, that's a real trial. All the forms have been filed, there's no turning back now. The trial begins tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hope you can make room in your schedule. But why am I only hearing about this now? Ah, uh, yes, there was a change this morning. I picked a new case. Eh? Something that happened last night. Okay. Um, this is op topic to this revelation, but what about, uh, Flint Gamarte? Hey, Apollo, I know you're all excited about that secret mission, but what about this? The Chup Gamarte Grand Magic Show? Huh? Oh, right. The card tricks. They're not card tricks! They're great illusions, miracles, the apocalypse, heaven and earth, something, something. So what? That's three whole days from now. It's a sunset call. See you. Let's go. Let's go today. Big and tired at Uncle Valent. Have fun. What? I can't go by myself. You know I'm not out very outgoing. Right. Why not go with her? But what about the secret mission? Oh, don't worry about that. You'll hear all about it tomorrow. Regardless. I don't trust that smile. He knows something that he's not telling me. Yippee! Now you can take me to the Coliseum. <sighs> I suppose it wouldn't kill me to pop over there. Ah, uh, Gamarte, that reminds me. What's this, Daddy? Isn't that Soul Cat thing the Gamarte seal? Consider it a birthday present, Juicy. Thanks, it's great. But today is my birthday. Hmm, good point. What today is it today, Apollo? Huh? Today? Um, I think it's Recycle Your Plastics Day? Then it's a Recycle Your Plastics present. Yippee, so it's plastic. I've given up trying to understand them. It's much easier that way. So, what is it? Can I open it, Daddy? No. Huh? You'll need that envelope someday. Someday soon. Don't open it until then. 
Well, why don't you just hold on to it until then? Because that would be the logical thing to do. Hmm. Can you never believe about that Grimantes. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. And what about that trial simulation? That's not a simulation. It's a real trial. Come on now. Alright, so what case are you going to use? You probably want to know you, don't you? Of course I do. I mean, I'm going to be defending, aren't I? Well, goes well, then yes. Of course, they're just a test. I want everyone to start without preconceptions. A blank slate, as it were. The difference between having a blank slate and being totally clueless. Who's a dumb idea was that anyway? Well, mine. Committee chair, remember? Oh. Well, if you want to know that badly, I suppose... I can give you permission to examine the scene of the crime. Good. That's better. But you can't talk to anyone involved with the case. What? And how am I supposed to defend? Don't you worry about the details there. Remember, I've been charged of this trial. All of it. But you don't want it to backfire, do you? Apollo... If I am in charge of the whole trial, that means the entire affair is my responsibility. For good, or for bad. Just do what you can. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Uh, alright. I recommend going down to the detention center. Your client's waiting for you. You can ask about the scene there. But you just said I couldn't talk to anyone involved. Oh, you can talk to your client. If you can get her to talk. Well, time is a wasting. Okay. Just throw all of this nonsense at me. I'm gonna look at this envelope real quick. Because I am curious about it. Hmm. There's a signature on the back. Now looky here. A handwritten signature. It says... I can't read it. That seems odd to me. I mean, isn't a signature intended to show ownership? What's the use if no one can read it? Isn't it enough you can read your own? Oh, I never thought of it that way. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, uh... I guess I'll get talked to... Well, attempt to talk to our client, and then trapped by the Coliseum, then, I guess. Or do that last. I don't know. We'll see. October 7, Detention Center. Visitor's Room. That's 20 minutes we've been waiting here. 20 minutes! Maybe I should complain. I'm sure that guard has better things to do than stay in there pretending he didn't see us. You know the minute we get angry, the client will show. It always works that way. Like shouting, Oh, waiter! And they're sitting right behind you. Oh, guard! Is our client going to be much longer? What are you talking about? Haven't you already started meeting yet? Huh? Oh. Hello. Eek! What? what where did you come from? W well, anyway, please have a seat. She was hiding. Hello. Do you have anything to say? I'm nervous, Apollo. It's a silence. It builds suspense. Why don't you do something, Juicy? You're a magician, aren't you? Th th that's right. Okay. Hi, Mr. Hat. I'm the amazing Mr. Hat. She's not interested. Oh. Eek! She passed out. Hmm. <laughs> Miss Magical Wonder may have been a bit of... That's Magic Painties, Apollo. Oh, hi. Um... Are you gonna talk to me, or... Do you wanna draw something in that book of yours, or... Write something down? Do a, a comey son deal? No? Anyway, introductions. Uh, um, hi. Well, I'm your defense. I really think it's to be fate, you know? And by fate, I mean destiny. You know I'm good with astrology? Tell me, what's your sign? Apollo, you're not... You're not trying to hit on the client. You're trying to get them to open up to you, not hit on them. Come on now. I can tell you, you mind if you like Apollo. No, never mind. I just got carried away there. Seems destined to get difficult clients, it seems. Your name? Um, so, what's your name? Oh, right. I'm supposed to introduce myself first. I'm Apollo. Apollo Justice. And I'm Juicy Wright. I know. It's getting nowhere fast. The case? Hey, I know. Maybe you can tell us what happened. I'm your defense attorney, after all. Um, anything out of the ordinary happened lately? 
Well, the other day this tourist from out of town stopped to ask me directions. Later, Trucy. But I need to ask the directions myself here. Well, that was fruitless. Although I think I understand despair a little better now. You did good, Apollo. What is that? Look, she's doing her nails. Oh. What? Are nails more important than defense? Is that it? <laughs> Let's go, Trucy. Huh. Um. Excuse me. Yes? C could you... Could you read this? Um, sure. I feel like a tinder on a first date. This is the love letter we passed from desk to desk at school. Stop looking so wistful and read it, Apollo. It's a business card with a name and address. My name is Vera Miss Him? Miss Him? Miss Ham? Miss Ham? The address is for Drew Studio. Hmm. And you're giving this card because... Well, looks like we're finished here. I wonder if Drew Studio is the scene of the crime? Let's go find out. Huh. I guess Vera doesn't want to say anything. Why particularly, I don't know. Hey, there's art pieces in here. Wow, this looks like... looks like a studio. It's like the... like... Life imitating art, or maybe it's the other way around. Hmm. With the tape on the ground there, it's a bit jarring. Yeah, it looks like we found our crime scene. Apollo, look at all those paintings. Hey, don't touch those. It's okay, I'm just looking. Hmm. Huh. I mean they're nice. I mean yeah, they they're they're real nice looking. Huh? Apollo, look at this one. Looks half finished. You can see the rough sketch underneath. But that's odd. The rough part doesn't look like the rest of the painting at all. Yeah, good point. That is odd. Huh. Interesting. All the paintings have a really different style, too. Ah, I thought you might find you here. It's you here. Oh, hi, Emma. You're on this case. Emma, long time no see. Oh. Seems like I run into you far too often. I bet I know why you're here, too. You know about the trial simulation tomorrow. I've read all of I've heard about it, sure. So Mr. Wright chose you, huh? But do we know what the case is about? Well, he was killed. The artist who owns this studio, that is. Mr. Drew Misham. Miss him. And his daughter was put under arrest. Yeah, we just saw her at the detention center. It's funny, though. He seems more like a victim than the kind of person who commit murder. You don't say. Not even by poisoning. That's how it was done, you know. Poisoning is a common way to get the job done. The murderer is a woman. P poisoning? Anyway, Mr. Wright told me he'd be coming. Feel free to take a look around. I'll just be over here with my snackoos. We can talk to anyone related to the case this time around. Which means we better find out as much as we can here at the scene. Or else. Can we talk to Emma, though? Yes. So this, um, Drew Missim was some kind of artist? Apparently. Had a lot of illustration with books, I hear. And a lot of female fans, too. For what it's worth. Oh, well I guess this stuff is kind of pretty. Like that oil painting over there, for instance. Um, yeah. That wasn't one of his illustrations, actually. Huh? So it was a standalone painting or something? Is that what she means? He's an odd bird, Missim. Didn't turn his face to anyone until the end. What do you mean, to anyone? He was always locked up here in the studio, apparently. His only connection to the outside world was through the letters he'd put in that letter box there. Letters? Do people still write letters? What do you mean, Apollo? I mean, when was the last time you wrote a real letter? Don't most people use email and stuff these days? Not Mr. Miston. Couldn't stand technology, it seems. Read everything by mail. I maybe thought that... That way is more artistic, you know? Could be. In any case, the only person besides him allowed in here was his daughter, Vera. Oh, you mean the killer? The suspect, please. We took the fingerprints, of course. The only ones in the room are Mr. Miss Sims and Vera's, basically. Basically? Actually, last night, Mr. Miss Sim gave an interview to a reporter for the first time. It happened during the interview, apparently. His first interview ever. 
Could you tell us a bit more about what happened that night of the murder? Why was why was Vera arrested? So this woman, Vera, she's Mr. Missim's daughter, right? Yep, a real sickly girl if ever since she was little. Hardly we ever went outside. She'd kind of give off a sort of withdrawn sort of aura. She was homeschooled by her father, apparently. It was quite a scene when they took her to the detention center. She was screaming about how she'd die if they took her outside. That does sound like a scene. In the end, she agreed to leave if she was allowed her good luck charm for company. Her... her good luck charm? Apparently, she has this charm that magically gives her the courage to go outside. Why can't I ever get a normal client? But why are people- why would a shut-in daughter kill her own dad? Don't look at me. It's the poison. It's fine to be in his coffee, right? No, not precisely. Not precisely? What does that mean? It means it's see for yourself, I think. About the night of the crime. Like I said, last night was the first time someone from the outside came into the studio. I guess mysterious painters never go outside and make for good articles. This happened that he died the night of his first interview. Around 9 p.m. every night, Vera always made him a cup of coffee. Last night, he drank his usual coffee and suddenly became brandly ill. And died? He poisoned him on the night of the interview? But wouldn't the reporter see? He wasn't near Mr. Mr. Sam when she brought her father her co his coffee. He was checking out some equipment in the back room. Supposedly, that's why she didn't notice he was there. It was the porter who called the police, in fact. Wait, but why is she the suspect? If anyone suspects, it's the reporter. If the reporter never got near Mr. Michelin's coffee, even Vera acknowledges that. Regardless, I don't know about this reporter. Hmm. Alright. Well, um, we will give this scene a once-over and see if we can't find anything about this reporter next time. So until then.